What is good, my fellow warriors of light? This is your host, Lotus Moon, and it's time for another 8-panel review video on, this time, the job, the grappler. Yes, guys, I finally got the grappler. It is an awesome job. I can't wait to unlock him with you guys and show his stats and just a basic build of what to expect from him in case you guys are wondering what the grappler is all about. So that said, let's first go to the Japanese website, Ultima, to see its stats. We'll briefly go over it, and this is going to be a pretty quick review. I think most people know what the grappler is about, but I do want to make this video um, just showing uh, how many skill seeds you might need, and also just my thoughts on this job, um, and also its current use and future use in the meta. So here is the grappler, looking pretty cool. Um, he is a monk job. So current valuation in Japan, and remember, like I always say, this is the current valuation, which is about at least a year ahead of us compared to global. Uh, but even then, its normal valuation in solo play is 85 points. Its multiplayer valuation is 90 points, and its multiplayer role is a breaker. So being a multiplayer um, valuation of 90, that's still really high. So you're going to expect him to be a really um, top-notch breaker in multiplayer. And currently in global, I would say he is definitely our best breaker. Um, definitely in terms of just raw break power. Um, now in terms of what the best breaker is, um, you know, may, some people have different opinions. Um, the ranger classes definitely have some advantages um, in terms of using um, their weapons and um, piercing break. But um, the grappler is definitely going to have that raw break power. Um, going to be able to uh, go through that break bar really quickly. So let's go over its strong points. So um, it says as excellent... Um, Abilities uh, they can use for its elements. Uh, it, just, it just mentions here that it has um, wind and earth attributes, so you can use other uh, debuffs. Um, I think Japan's meta is a little bit different than us. Uh, they use more. They, the the breaker has a few debuffs on them. Uh, in global, though, we more concentrate on um, lowering the yellow bar and red bar and stuff like that. So, uh, and it's of course it does have um, ranger knowledge, the ranger uh, lore. So it can use uh, ranger-type abilities as well as monk cards. So this is really good, um, especially right now in Global. Currently, there is not a lot of monk cards available to us. Uh, we'll be getting more in the near future, but currently there's not a lot of selection. So being able to use your best ranger cards on him is also uh, an advantage for uh, the grappler. Weak points, I'm not going to dwell on the weak points too much because this is comparing it to the current meta in Japan. I will go over it with you really quick so you know what to expect in the future. But this is just saying in Japan, there's no current play in active part on the current environment. So um, basically, yes, the grapper is a very strong breaker, as it says here originally, but there's no place for him currently because of such crazy jobs with crazy break power like uh, Super Monk, or the ninja, which have over overwhelmingly high break power. So yes, in the future, um, of course, we all know the grappler will be outshined by other classes. But uh, right now in global, he's definitely one of the best, if not the best breaker. Uh, of course, we all know all of the monk jobs have low magic. So uh, low magic is kind of a small issue, even though he's a breaker. Um, he's not going to be able to do as much yellow gauge damage with his ability card. So uh, you may need some more help from your attacker to do yellow bar damage. Um, at least until we get those N element weapons. Uh, especially with that new monk uh, weapon that's going to have um, weakness ability. Uh, you're going to be able to hit that uh, yellow gauge harder. So, But until then, um, the magic is low. So that's one thing to consider. Um... Multiplay, we already talked about that. Um, <laughs> I just, I, you know, I just love these translation in Google. I just wanted to, sh I just thought it was funny. Look at this. That second point. A point that can handle light and dark shrimp. So I guess he's also a fisherman. <laughs> shrimp. Seriously, Google. What are you thinking translating this? Anyway, um, more serious note. Here is the elements he can use. Uh, element one type is water, wind, and earth. Element type 2 is water, light, and dark. So he has access to 5 of the 6 elements. Does not have access to fire, but that's not a big deal. He has all the important elements, in my opinion. Uh, being able to use light and dark, um, if you have Duncan, uh, Duncan is a pretty good card for a grappler to use. 
um, especially as a breaker. And of course, wind, you can use Iris um, Final Fantasy XV, uh, which is also an amazing breaking card. Uh, just a small note. Not everyone has those cards, but they are um, out there in the meta. Um, its weapons are underwhelming. Uh, the, the hammer anvil is just the beginning weapon. I'm not going to even show you that. Um, but the secondary weapon is a decent uh, in some standards, I guess. Um, like I said, uh, the new multiplayer weapon coming out uh, this this month is going to be a better weapon. But here it is. It looks cool. Um, it's rated an A in normal um, single player. And a multiplayer is rated a B. Um, its strong points is that it raises the um, the power of um, of your damage during break. So break damage up increase and also gives you an extra turn of break, I believe. So let's see here. Yes, break turn up, break damage up. Of course, special move level up, level up plus one at the fourth ability. The third ability, I'm not sure what the third ability is. It's not showing it here. But, um, you know, decent weapon. Um, not really in a, a breaker type weapon because uh, break damage up, um, that's more of a attacker ability. You don't really care about how much damage you do in multiplayer as a breaker um, although in single player this would help some I suppose but uh, anyway enough about the weapon let us continue looking at the stats of this job so one good thing about this job is it does have pretty decent HP uh, so you can survive a lot better than say the assassin or uh, mythic ninja even I'm gonna have more HP by a little bit um, the break power is gonna be quite a bit more and I'll show you that once I finish the unlocking. Um, and here's his auto abilities. I'll go over it in in game once we unlock it completely. But uh, clutch, base, uh, brave, boost, and haste. Uh, water strengthening, wind and soil, thirty percent to each. Uh, light and dark, one hundred percent strengthening. Um, break damage up plus fifty percent. Um, break tolerance, breakdown tolerance, one hundred percent. It looks like he gets also um, special, the ultimate special move gauge plus one percent. Um, some pretty good stuff. Uh, not too bad at all. One definitely advantage of this job, though, especially as a breaker, is its ultimate death blow. Um, spear tackle is definitely in a very strong breaking um, ultimate. Uh, I've seen I've seen this ultimate completely tear apart the red gauge of. A Sicarius in four star, so definitely a great ultimate for this guy. Um, tackle those, tackle those Sicariuses. So if you are looking to unlock him, um, these are the skill seeds you're gonna want to look to to farm up. Uh, this is the eighth panel I'm looking at, which is the most expensive skill seed panel. We're looking at three hundred and fifty five. Thousand skill seeds of water, um, 161,000 skill seeds of of wind, and a few dark and earth. So mostly water is gonna be your primary element. Uh, wind is gonna be your secondary, and then you're gonna need a little bit of a little bit of dark and a little bit of earth. Um, let's take a look at the fourth panel. Same trend, uh, mostly water, wind, and then a little bit of earth and dark. So um, go ahead and farm up those skill seeds if you're looking to eight panel him immediately. Um, Gigantar Terrace is always the best spot. So now that we have an idea what kind of stats we're looking at, let's go back to in-game. And let's do the visual review, first of all. Come on, there we go. So here he is, the grappler. At level 0 here, here's his base stats. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say them out loud, but you can pause the video and look at them if you wish. They are very basic, of course, at zero skill panels now visually uh i kind of like the looks of him he looks like a power ranger to me and um looks like the blue power ranger so really cool looking outfit very unique especially compared to the other uh, warrior of light uh job um jobs out there um, you can definitely tell he is definitely standing out really cool looking um like i said this is the very base um uniform so he's gonna go. He's gonna look even more epic uh, once we fully unlock him, but definitely a cool looking uh, job, nevertheless. Side note is I'm using this uh, just bare knuckles. It doesn't give any auto abilities, and that's so we can see the the full auto, auto abilities on him once it's fully unlocked. So 
So let's go ahead and start with the eight paneling. I'm going to kind of zoom this through this a little bit quicker than usual because I don't know if you guys really enjoy watching me um, talk about each panel as I unlock it. Um, maybe it's kind of not really that necessary, but I'm still going to do it, uh, you know, like I said, a little bit faster than normal. So here's skill panel one. Um, you're going to get some enhanced winds, um, break, uh, break power down, advert, um, enhance water. So let's go ahead and unlock this. And his first weapon, Haymaker, I didn't talk about it in uh, the online review there, but like I said, it's just the, the base uh, weapon for him. It just gives you water draw to start with. Not an impressive weapon at all. I suggest using something else. Skill panel 2 here, uh, Enhance Earth, Clutch Boost, um, normal stats stuff, so let's go ahead and unlock that. Very nice. Go off to the third panel. Gonna get some Clutch Brave, some Wind Enhancement, some Water Enhancement, and some more stat boosting. Haymaker Bliss. Fourth skill panel, we're finally gonna get the Haymaker X. Um, enhance Earth, Enhance Water. Um, break Power plus 40 is pretty high. Um, extended Break. Uh, some more basic stats increased. Unlock this. And we can finally unlock the next job title, Wrestler. Awesome. So we're finally at four panels. Uh, we're going to take a, just a quick break to look at his new outfit change at four panels. Just for the fun of it, i like to see what, how he looks like. Compared to the original base job. So here he's looking a little bit more purple. Um, helmet looks pretty much the same. I think overall he looks basically the same as the first one, except now he's uh, more purple than blue. Here he has more of a blue tone, and then here he has more of a purple looking outfit. Um, still looking like now a purple Power Ranger, but still looking cool. Gonna get a little bit of stat increase with this. So let's go ahead and keep going with the fifth skill panel. We can now unlock the fifth, uh, the other job, Grappler. And this is just for the different elements. Uh, now you can use light and dark, as you can see here. No, I don't want weapons. So same thing as the, the blue outfit, but you can now use the dark and uh, light and dark. If you so wish. So fifth skill panel, you're going to get a third elemental strike. Plus one. Um, advert, break. Power down 30%, uh, enhanced light 30%, that's a pretty big jump, and more basic stats. So let's go ahead and unlock that. And here's his uh, secondary weapon. Like I said, got that painful break plus 50% and extended break. Uh, not a bad weapon, but like I said, not the best weapon for a breaker type. But still a useful weapon, you know. It's not it's not, not usable. It's, it's definitely a, a good weapon. I uh, gotta get enhanced dark 30%, enhanced dark 30% again, giving it a huge boost on this panel. Painful break plus 50%, that is huge. So this six panel is gonna be one of your major um, power gaining panels. If you don't have enough uh, skill seeds, at least get this skill uh, panel six. It'll give you a big jump in your break power, in your uh, break damage power. I mean. Perfect, now let's go to skill panel 7, enhanced light 30%, enhanced light 40%, giving it a whopping 70% enhancement on this panel. Gonna get finally your clutch haste, which is important, uh, and some more advert break defense down, and more basic stats improvement. I'm going right along to the 8th final skill panel. Gonna finally get the X version of this weapon. Let's go ahead and unlock that. Uh, you gotta get ultimate charger plus one. That's I always like that um, that particular um, auto ability. It's always it's always somewhat useful. Let's 
trying to use a few uh, silver openers here uh, just for the sake of saving a few skill seeds um, because they I've, I've gotten quite a few openers from um, from hard modes so I might as well use them somewhere so last skill panel here um, gain some more enhanced dark 40% to give the maximum of 100% we're gonna get some more basic stats um, let's go ahead and finish unlocking him here And now, finally, the new job title. Um, I can't pronounce that. Uh, Pang... Pancrest. Um, I can't say it. Pancake. <laughs> so let's go and unlock it. Awesome. Finally, 8 skill panel grappler. I'm really excited, guys. This is an awesome breaker. Let's see his final outfit. I know it looks really cool. It's gonna have that uh, water, light, and dark elements. He's also blue, but he now has a purple visor versus his uh, orange visor in the in the past here. So he's rocking that orange visor before. Now he's rocking that purple visor. Looks pretty. Looks 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 better in my opinion. A um, lot more blue now, and now he has some kind of like. I don't know, some kind of wings in the back of him. I don't know what they're for or what we could use them for, but it now looks like a battle suit. Like he can like somehow fly. But pretty cool looking nevertheless. Um, pretty nice. Yeah, definitely a really cool outfit. The blue Power Ranger. So anyway, let's take a look at his final English auto abilities here. We got Clutch Brave, Boost, and Haste. Enhanced Water, of course, like I said, 30% to those three elements, 100% Light and Dark. Uh, pretty much the same thing I saw online. Uh, Ranger Lore, of course, very useful. Uh, job sh Change Shift to Water, if you're going to Job Change. Um, and just a typical Job Change recast four turns, so nothing too special there, but a very good list of auto abilities. Um, Gonna get some good enhancements, especially to Light and Dark. Uh, some good Clutches, uh, pretty pretty happy with these auto abilities overall um, here are now his stat uh, base stats with a uh, no ability card level on him uh, 3815 HP 686 attack 515 break 150% uh, magic and there's his uh, crit speed and defense four stars of defense actually that's pretty good considering he's um, a ranger I mean um, a monk so pretty pretty good uh, defense so let's go ahead and put, let's see how he looks with his um, weapon here. Pretty interesting looking weapon. Uh, they're like these big bulky fists, mallets. Kind of cool. Um, <clears throat> not sure which weapon I'm going to use for him in the future, but um, probably just this for now. Looks pretty nice. So let's go ahead and put a few... Um, few cards on him to see what kind of um what kind of stats we're looking at here once we get to um, a higher higher level I'm just picking up some cards here um, let's see what else I want to put on him for now let's just put this for now. Okay, so at deck level 284, which is pretty much max right now, unless you um, have an overboosted job. And we're now looking at almost 13,000 HP. Um, attack now 1,213. A break power 1313. Magic 188%. Pretty good stats. Um, I don't. Okay, this does have a lot of HP up. That's why the HP looks so high here. Um, but regardless, um, very nice stats boost there. Now let's go ahead and look at him in multiplayer to see his stats there. And I had some cards preloaded here on this Defender Monk for this guy. So for this setup, I am using uh, Iris. Um, this is a fantastic card for this job. Um, probably one of the best besides the new... Um, Hermit. Uh, this job is, can use Iris, which is a really great, really powerful card. Um, if you are happen to happen to get this card back in Final Fantasy 15 event, um, it's incredibly powerful. 
as most of you already know. Um, I have this card on here just because this is a uh, break defense down debuff uh, ranger card. He can use it. Um, you know, it's not going to be doing a lot of damage, but that's not the, that's not really the point. Um, and there's Artemis and uh, Garuda on there. So um, now I don't have this job optimized. Uh, break power is only 8% up with these fractals currently. Um, but even then, I have, as you can see, 1674 break, and that's without any, any custom skills yet. So... Um, I've seen people get this job up to um, 2,000 break power, which is really just insane, really. 2,000 break power is just incredible. Um, I'm sure we can get a lot more break than that with some of these, uh, with the right setup. Yeah, even that one will have more break power. Yeah. So you, let's see, with this weapon here, we have even more break, uh, 1,700 break. So very easy to get to 2,000 break, which is just insane. Especially if you're looking at the break part compared to other ranger classes, like here is a pretty good build I have for um for the Viking, as you can see here, just barely breaking a thousand break, and that's with all the custom skills here um, on three on just a plus three break power. So uh, definitely good. Um, like even if I didn't have the Titan on, um, just let's put back. Uh, let's just go and put this back on there. Um, so yeah, just not not a little, just a little bit over a thousand break. Um, so Viking is lacking a, a bit of break. Also, Viking has low magic too. So, the best thing about the Viking is he has high HP. Um, but his break and magic are also lacking. Uh, but the definitely the Grappler has super high break power. Um, once I'm finished with this, I'm gonna try to get up, like I said, to 2,000 break power. Um, I think that's only two um, breakers I have right now. But even if I had, let's see here. Where are you? Mythic Ninja. Mythic Ninja is kind of in the same realm. Um, a little bit higher break than the than the Viking at a. You can usually get it to tw uh, um, 1,200 break power, but um, but yeah, that's why um, that's why the Grappler is so amazing. He has such high base break power, so he's definitely gonna be a, a top notch com to contender in our current meta uh, for breaking. Um, I can't wait to use him, guys. Um, as all of you probably know, um, if you've been waiting, I haven't made my Breaker um, multiplayer guide video. And the main reason is um, not only because I didn't get a Monk Breaker in the beginning last month, but also because um, the meta for Breakers have been changing a lot lately. And it's um, I wanted to be sure I covered everything um, that you know once things settled down. Um, the introduction to Supremes have really made things dif difficult for Breakers, I feel like. A lot of people are just spamming Duncans and spamming um, Royal Arms. And some parties don't even bring Breakers anymore. Um, it's kind of sad because Breakers are such an important part to a party. Uh, I really I really have a lot of respect for Breakers. Um, it's a hard job being a Breaker and doing it correctly. So, um, you know, I'll try to get that uh, multiplayer guide video for Breakers up. Um, within, uh, probably soon, uh, especially now that I have the grappler, I can talk about him as well. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this was just more of, like I said, an unlocking video. A little bit of talk about the job in general, what to expect if you guys are considering 8-paneling this job. Um, in our current meta, I would definitely say, um, do it for sure. It's worth the investment in the skill seeds. Um, it's not that much anyway, really. Um, and he's going to be one of the best breakers for quite some time still. Uh, really not going to be outshined until we get the Super Monk. Uh, so, with that said, I think we'll end our video on that note. Um, I'll talk more about breaker builds in the future. Uh, but like and subscribe if this has helped you. Um, and this has been Lotus Moon. I'll see you guys in the next video.